Hi there, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving a polynomial of order 4. It is a little more um, difficult than the most usual ones we solve, but with patience, we can conquer this one. Let's make this one look easier, first of all. Let's factor 4x out. So we have a 3x to the cube plus x squared minus, and this one turned out to be a 27x, and then you have a minus 9 equal to 0. So our goal is translate everything that's adding, now if you notice this box was adding this box, subtracting this box, and subtracting this box. Our goal is rewrite this messy adding and subtraction into a whole bunch of multiplications. Why multiplication? Why? When we have something to solve equal to zero, we love multiplications because the product property says if all those four chunks are multiplying and they're equal to zero, all you have to do is set each one equal to zero, and then you're home free. So that's our goal. We already got the first one. Now, of course, this chunk is 1x equal to zero. So what we need to do is find the other three chunks. Now, the best way to starting is to figure out, now this is like experimentally, figure out which number can put this one into a zero without too much calculation. Uh, obviously, if you put a 1 in there, and it won't work. You have a 3 plus 1 minus 27 minus 9. That's a little too big. This negative side is a little too heavy. So I went on 2. Uh, 2 didn't quite work out. This negative side is still a little heavy. And then it turned out x equal to 3 works. Okay, so the reason it works is the first part was 81. Okay, so 3 times 27 and then plus 9. This chunk was minus 81, and I have a minus 9. So I figure out x equal to 3 works. If x equal to 3 works, then x minus 3 is a factor. Okay, this is actually a pretty important thing. If you can recognize this one, you almost home. So x minus 3 becomes one of the factors. In order to find the other two factors, we will have to do long division or synthetic division, depending on your personal preferences. But over the years, I have to say, long division become one of my favorite ones. Okay, I don't have any reason. I just happen to like it. I think it's easier for me anyway. So here's a 3x squared times this one. I have a 3x cubed. My only goal is to match the leading term. That's all I have to do. Okay, this so then is minus 3x squared. Now here's the difficult part about the long division. You do have to remember it's minus. So over the years, I teach my students, vocalize yourself. Give you a math, a voice. So try it. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed. It's gone home. It's 0. x squared minus minus become a plus. Okay, so it's 4x squared. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. This is actually a 9, so this is actually a 10. Okay, and then copy this one down, minus 27x. Once again, I'm just matching the leading term, so it's 10x. And then I have a 10x squared minus 30x. Once again, remember the minus sign. Vocalize it, give you math a uh, voice. 10x squared minus 10x squared goes away. Minus 27 minus minus is plus. So it's minus 27 plus 30. So you come ahead with a 3x minus 9. That's this chunk. Okay. Then I have a plus 3. 3x minus 9. Now what do you know? It's a 0. Yay. Okay, so once you know that this factor is divided into this big long polynomial, into 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. Next thing, in order to get this factor to form, we're going to have to go factor it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, next one is I'm going to grab this, what I have as my result on top, 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. I want to factor this one. I don't want to solve this one using quadratic equation if I can help it. Okay, now in the channel, there is a if you go on to my Tucson 
math.channel, there is a method called a triple play. If you're not familiar with it, look it up. It's a pretty neat method. And I guarantee you to be able to factor when a coefficient become unfriendly. So what you do is you factor x squared plus 10x plus 9 first. Okay, this one is easy to factor. And then when you come out of the box, you're going to do 3x plus 1. So instead of x, I'm going to copy whatever I had before. And I'm going to divide it by 3 to normalize it. Because otherwise, I can't have my 3x squared back. Like I said, if this is too quick or not clear, go onto the channel and then type in triple play method. And you'll see the full discussion on this one. Anyway, to factor it out, I have 3x plus 1 and x plus 3. All right, I'm home free. So I'm going to grab this one, go back all the way up. Remember earlier we said I'm going to divide this one out, and whatever results I have over here, I'll factor it. It's 3x plus 1 and x plus 3. Okay, so from here, we got our answers. And we have four answers, x equal to 0, x equal to 3, x equal to minus 3, and x equal to minus 1 third. Okay, so here's our final four answers. Hope it's clear. And for a reward, math break. See those monkeys? They're having fun. Hope you're having fun with math also. All right. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a thumb up or a comment. Until next time, have a confident day.